What's up, JoJo in the morning family? Hope everybody is ready for today. I have a broadcast that is going to help you. It is going to change you and it's going to challenge you. I absolutely love when God speaks something that challenges his people. So recently in a, a time of corporate prayer, the Lord spoke to me so plainly and said, I'm about to show people more. And when I heard that, I just, I got super excited in my spirit because I know that God is moving strongly right now. And as I started praying into it, the Lord just started speaking to me about, I am about to pour out my revelation on so many people. See, there's so many people who in life, they just need a little more revelation on a subject, a little more revelation in their family, their marriage, their, their business, their, their ministry, whatever it may be. They need more revelation. And when the Lord said, I'm about to show people more, I, I really understand when God says something like this, we have a responsibility. Um, recently, I had a prophetic word that heaviness in, is lifted. And what the Lord showed me was he is removing a level of heaviness off of the kingdom people. And we are about to see with greater clarity, greater insight. So we grab this next level revelation and we're able to move forward. See, what a lot of people don't understand is when God gives you a prophetic word, he doesn't just give you everything you need right then. He allows you to grow in the process. The main thing is you grow with him. See, we need to become stronger and stronger with God every day. And when you're stronger with God, you are a better businessman, a better minister, a better family member, better friend, you know. It's, you know, people say, I want to be a better prophet. We'll get closer to God. I want to be a better pastor. Get closer to God. You know, there's no shortcuts into this. It's all centered around our relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so when the Lord spoke this to me, I want to show people more. He is saying, I've got more revelation, but you've got to die to the flesh more to live in the spirit more. And I think a lot of people miss that. They don't quite understand the dying to the flesh. Okay, they just want more. God is not going to pour out more on a rocky foundation because it will all come crumbling down. Okay, give you some scriptures. Ephesians 1.17 that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of knowing him. It is all about knowing him at a greater degree. Now I've been married for 24 years. My wife, the best 24 years of my wife's life. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm the blessed one. Okay, and we, we just grow our marriage every single day. Every single day. We have meaningful conversation every single day. That's how we grow. That's how we grow together. That's how you grow with God. It, I said meaningful conversation. You speak to God, God speaks to you. You speak to God, God speaks. It's not just that you're just telling God your prayer requests. You need to build that relationship with him. Because he wants to pour out his spirit with wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and revelation from heaven that could absolutely change you and your situations you're going through right now. Isaiah 11 and 2. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. I'm going to read that one more time. Isaiah 11 and 2. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the spirit of the fear of the Lord. A lot of folks do not have the fear of the Lord. How do you know that? Because I can see the way they live. I can see the way that they talk. I can see the way that they're carrying on their businesses and ministries. 
I remember one time when my kids were little, they there was a, a minister that we, we kind of knew, and they said, Dad, I, I just can't believe they act like that. I said, God won't let them act like that much longer. Just pray for them. About six weeks later, they fell, stuff got exposed, and then God gave them the chance to come back. What happened was they did not have the fear of the Lord, and they did not stay in that place to receive wisdom, spirit of counsel, understanding, and the spirit of knowledge. They were just, they had arrived at a, at a big place, and they just thought that they had it. The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. We got to keep our relationship with God Almighty fresh every single day. Every single day. I, I do not like that saying, God is my co-pilot. No, he is not my co-pilot. He is the pilot. <laughs> okay? He is the pilot. And, you know, die of the flesh, live in the spirit. If you want to be his disciple, pick up your cross and follow him daily. He is in charge of my life. I do the will of the Father. Your, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Okay? A lot of people don't fully understand the amount of submission we're supposed to have to the Lord and to the amount that we're supposed to die to the flesh. Okay? Proverbs 2 and 6. For the Lord gives wisdom, and from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. When we position ourselves to hear the Lord, he just speaks wisdom. He speaks understanding. He speaks knowledge. He speaks revelation. He speaks wisdom. Then he goes to understanding, then back to wisdom, then the revelation, then back to knowledge. And he just keeps speaking. If you just keep gaining, you keep learning, and your life will gain momentum when you stay in that place with him. A lot of people don't get that. A lot of people don't understand that. And that's why a lot of people are where they are today. And so you stay in there with the Lord. It is God's heart. It is God's good pleasure to pour out what he has. That's why he says, if any man lacks wisdom, let them ask for wisdom and a generous God will pour out that wisdom on them. I, I told some, some people, I was speaking to some people the other day, and I said, look, man, if you're stupid, it's because you don't have wisdom. If, if you do dumb things, it's because you don't have wisdom. And it's nobody's fault but your own because God the Father said, if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask him to have wisdom. Wisdom will not let you do some of the things that you do. He just won't let you do it. Because God sent his son to pay the ultimate price for you. And I always think, Jesus laid down his life for me to live my life how? It says in Leviticus to be consecrated and to be holy unto him. And by doing that, everything shifts. God wants to pour out wisdom on you. He wants to show you more. The, the more that you die to your flesh in your own agenda, the more he will pour out into your life. He has so much revelation to give you. Hope today helped. Like always, you can go to the website, jojodawson.net. Find everything you need to find out about us. Okay? Love you guys. I speak blessing over y'all. And hope you have a great day.